In this video, we're going to take a look at wind and solar power. Then at the end, we'll consider the pros and cons of each. Wind power can be captured through the use of wind turbines. And if you've ever driven through the English countryside, you've probably seen a ton of them. We generally place them in exposed areas, like moors or coasts, where there's lots of strong winds. The way they work is that each turbine has a generator inside it. And as the blades spin in the wind, they turn the generator, which converts the kinetic energy from the movement into electrical energy, which can then be transported to the national grid. Solar power, on the other hand, is generated by solar cells, which are often in the form of solar panels. These generate electric currents directly from sunlight, much like plants trap the sun's energy through photosynthesis. Two places they work really well are in low energy devices, like watches and calculators, so that we don't have to replace batteries, and in remote regions, like the Australian outback, which aren't connected to the main power grid. However, most solar energy is now being used on a much larger scale to generate electricity for entire towns. Now, the pros and cons of wind and solar energy are pretty similar. Both of them have very low running costs and don't produce any pollutants, which importantly means no carbon dioxide. However, they do both have high upfront costs and the process of making them often does produce pollutants, particularly making solar cells. The main issue though, is that they're both dependent on the weather. If the wind doesn't blow, or the sun doesn't shine, then they don't generate any electricity. And there's also no way to increase supply in times of peak demand. Another problem is that they both take up a lot of space especially because you need so many of them to produce a serious amount of power. And some people complain that wind turbines don't look very nice and are too noisy. That said, neither wind nor solar damage the environment at all. And both are getting cheaper every year. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.